Well, we're in the middle of flu season and infection rates are high across the country and here locally. In fact, emergency rooms and clinics are seeing patients with other respiratory illnesses as well. Our Caitlin Gateman talked to a nurse practitioner about the increase in cases and ways to protect yourself. As we get further into winter, more and more people tend to get sick with illnesses like strep, flu, COVID-19, and RSV. According to the CDC, Mississippi has some of the highest rates of respiratory illnesses in the nation. Family nurse practitioner at MedPlus, Kane McCool, said they have been treating dozens of patients with these illnesses. We're seeing a good bit of flu here at MedPlus. Um, COVID is on the, not the downtick. Strep, um, more up from last year, I feel like. RSV, I feel like we're not quite seeing us quite as much as that. On a day-to-day -day basis, um, we see roughly 40 to 50 patients with about three-quarters of them being uh, flu or COVID or both. McCool cites weaker immune systems during this time of year as one reason for the rise in cases. Another culprit? Not practicing proper hygiene. You've got a lot of uh, nasal drainage and things. Kids are sickly. They're putting their hands on frequently touched surfaces. Hand washing, you know, is a must needs to be used adequately. I don't think people are doing that quite as often as they should, in my opinion. He says individuals and families can help stop the spread of germs. The best ways to, is to, you know, cough into your elbow, sneeze into your elbow, um, frequent hand washing throughout the season, uh, using hand sanitizer when you're going to be in contact with somebody who's sick or ill, um, making sure that um, your Lysol or clean surfaces that are frequently touched or you know have a lot of contact surface to surface. In Startful, telling your story, Caitlin Yateman, WCBI News. If you think you may be sick, go get tested at your local urgent care.